Oh, I'm such an idiot. I missed one. It was camouflaged with the T-54E1 right next to it. And it's a heavy. I totally forgot. I thought it was a medium because I'm stupid. So let's quickly go over the T-54 heavy. Uh, it's a premium tier 9 American heavy tank. Practically a renegade at tier 9. So, okay. <laughs> Telling me you want money without telling me that you want money, Wargaming, huh? <laughs> Practically. 120mm <laughs> gun? It's a, it's a prototype to the T-54, presumably, so a little bit different of a turret design, but not that much. Not really. Versatile heavy tank. 240mm of pin. More alpha than the tier A counterpart. A lot more. 450 DPM is not half bad, about 2150-ish. Accuracy also not half bad, 0 0.36. Quick aim time of 1.9, 12 degrees of gun depression. Uh, turret traverse, decent. Gun reload time, adequate for that alpha. I mean, it's pretty big of an alpha for 120, surprisingly. Alright, 1700 health. 254 at the hull front and turret front still has the M1 cupola on top so obvious weak spot but shoot anywhere else and you'll bounce on the turret shoot the patents hull it should be the patents hull but eh, still pretty decent about 240 ish 250 ish I mean if it's hull down then 250 ish 260 ish Shoot the lower plate, that's about 100mm. Side armor is 76, so standard 3 inches for American vehicles or some British also. And side of the turret is also 3 inches, nothing to complain. It's a haul down vehicle, like with the Renegade, but roof armor is only 30, so get splash from artillery shells. Armor is not half bad, I think it has a little bit better turret armor than the Renegade, but still, the gigantic cupola is still on top, but mobility wise, about 14 horsepower per time ratio, 14.5, not half bad, 34 kilometers per hour top speed, reverse is quite fast for a heavy, it should be a medium, hull traverse decent for a heavy, weighs about 56 tons, concealment, crap, <laughs> view range, 400. It's also a premium, so let's compare this with the actual Renegade at tier 8. Uh, God, I, I confused it with a medium. God damn it. <laughs> Missed out in the video. It's totally gone. <laughs> Alright, 100% crew. No field modifications. No equipment. Uh, better pin. Better alpha. Slower of a reload, obviously, but for some reason. Renegade also has a 120, right? Or am I mistaken? It has a 105. There goes my knowledge of stuff, because I'm an idiot. Alright, fine, it's a 105 compared to 120. I haven't played that vehicle for long. It has two more degrees of gun depression, faster aim time, the same accuracy, less DPM, more health. More hull armor, but that's debatable. Uh, horsepower per ton ratio is a little bit worse. Worse top speed. Okay. Worse camo. Same view range. A tier higher. Um, that engine power cut to the top speed cut to the... How about a hull traverse? Or turret traverse? Slower hull traverse and slower turret traverse. So it's not as squirrely as the Renegade, the actual T 54 E2 at tier 8. So this thing is more squirrely. We go around the turret, bounce off the shots, but armor wise, I think it's about the same armor. Should be. Turret front. It's still rounded, I mean it's not as thick as 300 or so, but it's more well sloped, so it will bounce a few more. Uh, suppose high explosive anti-tank shells or other crap. 
it's about the same. A little bit, a little bit smaller of a turret, but the M1 cupola is still on top. That's a tumor. Hall is not as strong. All right, fine. It's about 190-ish compared to 250, so weaker hall front, but it's more mobile for the tier 8 compared to the tier 9. Well, we'll take a closer look once tanks.gg gets updated, but I am so salty. <laughs> I forgot to uh, double check as a heavy tank, so this will be an adamantium, adamantmund. Uh, addition to the hidden vehicles video because I'm stupid <laughs> Yeah, it's not as well slope of a turret front, but uh, I mean hull armor is thicker. So that's a plus plus. and finally here are some decals for the upcoming 40th anniversary event crossover with GI Joe So we get two crew members if you're buying the skins from the shop one for the STRV S1 and one for the Renegade so one is obviously Cobra, I think the black hair chick, that's the Cobra chick. And the redhead is obviously the American one, or G.I. Joe one. Alright, fine. Some decals, kind of looks like the Renegade, a little bit, with the searchlight on the wrong side, but whatever. And kind of looks like the STRV S1, but doesn't have a gun, has rockets, but rockets don't work. On the actual STRV S1. G.I. Joe 40th anniversary. So neato. Uh, it would be more interesting if this was actually a part of the Battle Pass Season 9. Like with the Warhammer crossover. Like the entire three months would be dedicated. But eh. Cobra! <laughs> and a star for G.I. Joe. Cobra enemy. Is it for Joe or is it for Cobra? I mean. Kind of. Check the positioning. Well, there you go, folks. That's all the decals. That's all the skins. God, I'm so salty about <laughs> missing this thing. <laughs> and I don't want to just add it to the previous video and re-render. The rendering takes about four hours. The uploading takes about three hours or so. And the processing into HD from the 360 Club takes about three hour plus. So that's a whole day gone. So that, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That takes way too long. It's still processing on the actual main video. So this will be a demandment, a demandium, or whatever. So here is the G.I. Joe Wolverine World of Tanks edition. And where is the T-54? There it is. T-54. M-54. Well, T-54 E-2. But that's a renegade. So those are the only two new skins, or they covered the swordfish for the Yo tank like two or three patches ago. Uh, that's practically it. Also the new skin for the 121B, but that's for Clan Wars, so that's already uh, the question, blah blah blah. Well there you go folks, I feel salty, so apologize, but I'm not going to re-render everything with this addition, so slap me in the face. <laughs> God damn it. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.